you know who was originally offered? The, I do the not role know who was originally offered the role of Edward Scissorhands. It would have probably been a lot better. Nick Cage, Tom Cruise. You're lying. <laughs> I'm not lying. I am not, well. I'm lying about it being better. I just said that to see how pissed off you'd get. Oh my god, <laughs> that's terrible. Yep. Josh. Hey, well, welcome back to our stupid reactions of Corbin. I'm Tom Cruise. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks to Patreon for those Twitter accounts. Subscribe to the like button. Yeah, I, I saw there was a, 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 a Johnny Depp talking about that it, there were notes and production notes when he were certain things he wanted to do to change it. And I think just he and Tim Burton had differences of opinion because he wanted to make some changes. And thankfully, hmm. um, I mean, and Johnny was so gracious. He he said it would have been great. It just would have been different. It would have been Tom's own thing. No, it 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 is what it is because it's you. No, it would have been terrible. Uh, <laughs> my I have three films this year that I I think that are nominated for best picture that I don't think deserve a best picture. Oh, I'm with you. Tell me what they are. Um, Avatar, Avatar. That's one. I think it deserves some nominations. All of the visual effects noms, but, but not picture. Not picture. At uh, all. Fablemans. I don't know. Agree. Don't Fablemans. Fablemans is one of the most overrated films uh, of the year. Agree. I think it was fine. Yep. So it was. It's a good movie, but it's uh, not jump up and down. And, and then, I know you don't agree, but Top Gun. I, <laughs> I wouldn't, it wouldn't have bothered me if Top Gun wasn't nominated. Yeah. I, RR should have thousand percent 100 top gun percent um it should anyways have been that's not what in this there. is about triangle of sadness deserves to be in there everything everywhere all at once is going to win and should yeah i think so. um but one of the aside from the, the 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 controversy surrounding uh daniel deadweiler not being nominated for till which is legit no casting no aspersions on andrea riseborough she does a good job aspersions I, taken i don't equate that performance with an Oscar thing and the reasons that she got nominated that I've looked into and read about what it, it's just it's wrong mm. another one I don't understand is Paul Meskel got nominated for both an Oscar and a BAFTA for After Sun and I watched After Sun I don't this is again I'm not saying anything ne negative about the performance but are we really going to honor actors for doing their job he does his job in it he does a good job I'm I'm not going to remember his performance next month. Not because it was bad, but because there's just nothing inherently wowing to me, which is why there's been no consensus this year on all of the acting nominations. The only consensus, pretty much, has been the guys, the acting in uh, Banshees, Austin Butler, and the Everything, Everything Every Well at Once people. Then there's been no consensus across the board for acting nods. Yeah. Anyways, no, what this film is about. I no. missed a uh, video. This film? About. No. Oh. But uh, we got We're doing a, a review of a movie we've never seen. We got a teaser, per se, maybe, or just a glimpse, first first look at, I think, Sanjay Lou Bansali's next film. Oh! Uh, which I believe is called. Uh, uh, read the, the hashtag there. Hiramandi. Another time, another era, another magical world created by Sanjay Lila Bansali that we can't wait to be part of. Awesome. Here's a glimpse of the beautiful world coming soon. And I think it has something to do with concubines. Which we just saw a video about. Uh, apparently, they have sex with people. <laughs> <laughs> I just want it to be quirky. Not to be confused with porcupines. Really big problems if you do that. Here we go. Oh, it's a series. Oh, shit. Wow. It's a series. Cool. Uh, why was I expecting Rick? <laughs> 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 like, it's, I was just like... I, feel I like would have lost my mind. Uh, <laughs> um, I did not know it was a series. I thought it was a, uh, I thought it was a new film. But it looks like we're going back to the beautiful... 
um, what we love most about Sanjay time, yeah, like that that t- like Devdas and the the beauty of Devdas and like Badmavad, Baji Rao <laughs> uh, of those uh, style of films, yeah. Uh, but this is a, a series, so it'd be really interesting to see how he's going to do that in this. And I, mean, I he's I, probably going to have all the money he wants. But. And my it, my it'll be interesting to see where this goes because with a subject matter of you know, courtesans doing what they're doing. There's any number of ways he can go, but since it's on OTT, all bets are off in terms of what you can expect with censorship or things he may feel he wants to portray or not portray. I, I'm, who knows? I, I'm, it's him. So I'm excited, but I'm particularly excited because it has historical past in it, and that's always beautiful uh, for him. There's this video that came out last year, uh, but it's about, uh, he he talks about his, his upcoming the, project. Okay, great. And we haven't seen it yet, so I figured it'd be also a good time, so this awesome. a short little video. Great. Get a little more information here. Great, great, great. As a, a four-year-old kid, and my father took me to a shoot to, to watch Get Out to Meet His Friends. And he said, you sit here, I'll just meet my friends and come. And I was sitting in the studio and I thought this was a place that seems the most comfortable to me. More than a school or more than a playground or more than uh, a cousin's house or anywhere in the world. I thought this was the most beautiful place in the world. And I was watching a cabaret being shot. And they kept doing it again and again and again. But what actually I remember most of that, that, that evening is when my father told me, sit here and don't move and don't go anywhere. Today, when I look back at it and I realize that 25 years I've been there, and for that matter, the whole life after that, I've been dreaming to be here, and I'm glad I'm stuck here and doing what I have to do. I still, as a child, remember going to a theater and watching that those projectors used to have that beam of light that falls on the on the screen across, and always my, my mind would never be there. My mind would be here and watching those particles float into it and say, one day my story will float, my character will float, and that's how I want my film to be. All these films that I've made, I think nine films I've made, and tenth one is the one I'm making. And it's been 25 years, and I hope 25 years more. Yes, Hiramandi was something that my friend Moin Bey uh, got to me as a 14 page uh, story 14 years ago. And then finally, when we presented it to Netflix, and uh, they loved it, they, they thought it had a great potential to make a legacy is it was it's very ambitious it's very big it's very vast it's it you <laughs> the story of the protestants uh pre-independent they kept music and poetry and dance and the art of living the politics within the courthouse and how to uh, uh emerge as the winner i hope it's a difficult one but i hope they come across in the flight for us this time awesome that's cool um what the f- Pre- how far back pre-independence well, probably, you can remember that Bengali film we saw when it was, um... The, well, which one, the, if we're thinking about the same one? It was this past year. You, we didn't like it. Um, it was basically right on the partition, and they were... Oh, well, the, yes, the yeah, brothel yeah, right on the line. I don't know if it's, like, basically right there, right right in that In time, that era. But it also looks much pre that as well but or maybe it's just because the people that it could just be that are, are high-end right films, right 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 as opposed to i think that was prostitutes mm. um or a brothel uh, is really what that one was um but well, if it's pre-independence please for the sake of all things living hire mark bennington and actors of his caliber like thank me. you me hire me hello governor how was that <laughs> um, let's see. Story of three generation of Corzon in say that? Hiramandi, a dazzling district during pre-independent India. Uh, it's in post right now. July fifth. No, that's not it. Sanjay is um, producer, and so the lead in it is. Aditi Rao Hidari. Okay, so we've seen her in Rockstar, Padmavat, and a, and a couple other things. Um, other than that, it's not a big, like a big, at least names that I recognize a lot. Right. Um, Which is the benefit of having a Sanjay Lila Bonsali. Looks like she was in Lutera. Dilse. Dilse, Bombay. Bombay. Uh, so we have seen some of these people, and maybe it's just because we haven't seen enough of, you know, what we're supposed to, but the fact that Sanjay Lee Bansali is doing a series—that's like if 
Steven Spielberg was like, right. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a series because that's Which, where we, that's where we are. He now. has said he wants to do that. We have also yeah. um, the on the opposite end of the spectrum. Um, what's his name that does the big uh, action films um, here in the states? No, India. The one that he, he was Roger Mooley. <laughs> no, that'd be cool though if he did a series. All right. Yeah. Um, Rohit Shetty. Ah, uh, who, uh, who's a big? He has a series coming out. Uh, the big, it's the big cop one that we've seen. Yeah, like, it's a big over the top right. action. But he's doing a series. Right, that's just where we are. Yeah, and uh, Anirag, technically, even though it was right when we started the channel, did Sacred Games. Right, was, um, that's I, I like that. That's where, uh, at least Netflix and Amazon are, and, and uh, the creators are. They don't see it. It's like a. It's something bad. Right. It's like this no. is a, a, a great creative space that we can do so much with. I'm excited to see what Sanjay Lila Bansali can do with it. Absolutely. And I hope we get it this year. Yep. And I don't... Do you recognize the uh, the CD on that? The Shruti, Shruti Mahajan? The what? Casting director. Baji Rao, oh, she works with him a lot, I guess. As as a casting director, though. Yep. Yeah, she works. Okay. With, she works with Sanjay a lot. Okay. Um, hire hire the Russians from uh, Farsi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who? Uh, we also saw uh, the girl at least, uh, in Oda Punjab. She hung out oh, with Shahid really? in the beginning. Wow, uh, part. She was, wouldn't uh, have put those together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same way we didn't put together stuff for 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 Family Man references in uh, exactly Farsi in Farsi, which apparently there's more than we saw by yep. a long shot. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, but but hey, anyways, we, we uh, let us know if you're excited for this and any other thoughts you have uh, and anything else we need to know down below. Josh!